Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-November general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Virgo, someone rides in Venus and the visuals. When I was meditating over your energy, the song that I got was Come Through and Chill by Miguel. Miguel happens to be a Scorpio. So you could be dealing with Scorpio, someone rides in Venus and the visual. You also have these placements in your chart. Or there could be a situation surrounding Scorpio season, okay? When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the, the message that I got is they really want to get to know you better. Now, it's interesting because I, when I, as soon as I heard that, I, following it, I heard the song, I want to get to know you. I can't think of, um, it's Joe. Joe and 50 Cent. I know 50 Cent is a cancer. I don't know if Joe is a, for some reason I keep getting Capricorn with Joe. So he may have Capricorn in his chart, even if he's not a Capricorn, because I say Capricorn, there's no such thing as accidents. It could be a Capricorn involved. Or if you're single, you could be meeting somebody in Capricorn season. Okay, Capricorn season is December, January time frame that could resonate for you also. But I literally, as soon as I heard that they want to get to know you better, I heard that song. I want to get to know you by Joe and 50 Cent. I also get cancer with Joe also. He may have cancer in his chart as well. So 50 Cent, I know for a fact, is a cancer. Joe could be a Capricorn, a cancer, one of those. But whatever the case, I do feel like somebody wants to really get to know you on an intimate level not just going out because you know if you go out on dates it's social you're around a bunch of different people i feel like somebody wants more of an intimate they want to connect with you on in an intimate setting i want you to listen to that song come through and chill by miguel it's like when you listen to the song it's very sexy and alluring it kind of draws you in but it's also it's for me it gives like a hypnotizing type of energy and it's kind of like a sneakiness so i also do feel like for some of you, this person may be trying to hit you up with a Netflix and chill type of vibe. Like, oh, just come over and kick it. Let's have some drinks. Let's have dinner. I'll cook for you, blah, 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 whatever. But they may have they may have something else on their mind. Again, I'm getting like they want a more intimate connection. Now, if this is a newer connection, like you just started talking to this person, this person could definitely be moving too fast. Because I do feel like it could be a little bit of sneakiness here, right? But I do also feel like the chemistry is mutual. Like, you may be vibing with it. Not to say like you are... You a hoe or you a harlot and you just out here just going for whatever. I just feel like the chemistry between you and this person is very strong. So it could lead to something intimate. We're going to see though. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Visuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the Hermit. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person here for a good time. Somebody is pouring the drinks. And carrying on, okay? You got those barrels back there. There's lots of drinks. So lots of drinks flowing. I do feel like somebody has motive. Didn't I say sneakiness? I always tell y'all, that's my rat bastard right there, okay? Um, somebody could be born in the year of the rat. This could be you or this person. But I, I, I just feel like sneakiness. Like, this person does have motive. I do feel like they want to get to know you better. But then I also feel like they want to get to know you better intimately. Like, physically intimately. Now, if you and this person have already been intimate, I feel like, you know... It's just something about this person trying to get to the nitty gritty, maybe trying to see if they could push certain sexual limits or something like that. It's just something where this person wants to get to know you deeply. They want to they wanna see what you're really about. This could be you also flipping and putting where it applies, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck. We're going to get your major arcana. Yeah, this person is not trying to take it slow. Are they trying to act like they're taking it slow? I don't think that's their intentions, okay? They want to know how deep things could get with the king of cups, okay? bottom of the deck two of cups that's what i'm saying like this is definitely something like this person wants to know if you guys are on the same page you see how they're eye to eye they want to know if you guys have the same type of vibe that's what i'm saying what i'm getting right here is vibe check this is a vibe check this person this is a vibe check again if you are single a lot of you guys could definitely be meeting somebody in capricorn season because this is a, a bit of a wait okay the second time we got the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the whole entire deck. So it's like a little bit longer before you meet this person. But there's going to be immediate vibe check. Like this person wants to know if you're on the same page them. If you guys had the same desire, same level of passion. Yeah, that's what they're going for. Because this is like, oh, we share the same level of attraction for each other. And the passion is there. I like it. I like it, actually. Okay. The Hermit. 
And then the card that comes for and the card that comes after for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Yeah, see, because it's taking us a while to get to your card. I'm going to say again, I feel like um, it may be a little bit longer before you meet this person for some of you all, okay, towards the end of the year. We're already at the end of the year, but you get what I'm saying. So right in front of you, you have the page of wands. Look at him holding his wand. I'm trying to tell you, this person definitely, they, they, they want some type of intimate exchange. Then you have you there, and then you have the five pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. Some of you guys have felt like, yeah, I don't see myself going in this direction because I don't want it to move too fast. And then it's just something physical. It definitely has something to do with physical because you have him holding that wand there. That's physicality. And then you have a snake right here on his path. So some of you guys are scared. Like, okay, if I'm intimate with this person too soon, then it won't go anywhere. It's going to leave me a lack because you are a pentacle, so you may feel like that. Because even here on the table, he's looking in the direction of five pentacles. Now, this also could be a situation that already happened and you're healing from it. And that's why it's coming up for you now. Like, you may have been intimate too soon. Okay, and then all of a sudden, this person just ghosted you. They just disappeared, left you high and dry. There you go again with this damn rat in the middle, rat bastard. So again, this could be a shady person. You got a snake, you got a rat, hello. Um, or like I said, somebody could be born in the year of the rat. Somebody also could be born in the year of the snake. Hmm. Someone could have went to a high school where their, their um, mascot was the Cardinals. Or somebody's favorite football, um, not football, baseball team is the Cardinals. Canary also. Bottom of the deck, you got the devil. Okay, don't get too wrapped up in temptation. I'm getting that for one message. For another, again, some of you guys are going to meet somebody that you're going to start some type of new contract with. And Capricorn sees you got the devil. It's Capricorn. Capricorn is reigning real supreme. You're reading right now. Okay, that's part of the deck. Eight of Wands, fast moving communication, come out of blue unexpectedly. I'm going to tell you what this energy is like jumping into something too quickly too quickly it's or somebody did this already and then it left them in lack so again there's two messages here for sure i even said with that song i want to get oh yeah ten of swords yeah somebody's feeling like i got i did something too quickly and now this person just disappeared stabbed me in the bag betrayed me i'm telling you i'm hearing that song i want to get to know you who's joe joe in in 50 cent listen to that song I've personally never, because you see, that's the only part of the song that I'm hearing. I've never listened to the lyrics of that song. I've just heard that song in the past, and it's actually not one of my favorite songs at all. I don't, I don't really care for the song too much. That's how I know it resonates with this reading. Listen to the song, I Want to Get to Know You, 50 Cent and Joe. And listen to the lyrics, because it could be something that resonates with your specific story with someone, okay? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. Look at this. Shoo. Five of pentacles. Lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold, upright, and then reverse. So I'm going to tell you, some of you guys could be meeting somebody new, okay? Somebody could have, you know, you moved too fast in the past situation in, as far as intimacy went, and they ghosted you. But I feel like you're leaving that behind and you're going towards a different connection here. Could be a fire sign involved. Leo Sash Aries, because his back is facing one bird, and then he's going towards... Um, Oh my goodness, he's going towards another bird. I'm just looking at how profound and how strong that butt cheek is, and it's immediately making me feel like somebody gave up the butt too soon. That's what I'm getting. But I'm, look, I'm a Gemini. I, I look at it like this whatever's meant to be, gonna be. You could not have sex with this person for six months, and they could still turn out and be the Ten of Swords or, or the Tower. So I, I'm not one of those type of people that's like, okay, I have to wait things out. You may be different, and you may have broken your belief system for this person, and then you're like, see, that's what I get. You know, one of those type of things. So just put it where it applies for you. It may not apply, but I'm just putting it out there. So let's get a clarifier for the page of wands. Clarifier for the page of wands. Okay, look at this. I'm going to take the two cards that I got. You have some up on him, but this one is showing Four of Wands, marriage, and long-term commitment. Some of you guys are going towards someone that you're going to have a long-term commitment with. Again, strong fire sign energy. Strong fire sign energy. You know what? I was told not to take that, so I'm going to tuck it back in, okay? I'm going to tuck it in. I'm listening. And, and even I'm even going to shuffle so you guys won't think I'm just tampering with the energy. But I just heard right now, no, those cards flipped out because, look, see, I knew it. Look at this. I'm going to take that one. <laughs> I told you. I listened to what intuition tells me. So they were saying, like, no, don't listen to that because, you know, those other cards flipped out because it, it's possible that it was just a lot of extra energy with this person. So it was meant for you to move on from that anyway. And I do feel like it was meant for you to move on from some type of past situation. You may have felt like you would never get married or or 
be with somebody long term because you keep connecting with people that's very short lived. They're saying somebody's gonna come in and it's gonna be a long term union. Kings and queens are always looking for their long term consort. Nothing short lived. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here. Um, some of you guys have decided to turn your back on situations that feel like they put you in the energy of lack. You're reclaiming your power. You see how she's sitting in her power. And I definitely feel like that is the case for sure. Also, this is like communication and mental mercurial energy and your ruling planet is Mercury. So I feel like you you know better now. You know better. You know what you want. You know how you want to move forward with certain connections because she's looking forward. And I feel like, again, I feel like there's going to be some type of long-term commitment with this next partner. The next partner. I'm not feeling like a current or the most recent. I feel like the next partner because even here, her back is facing it. So, like, she's going towards the future. So, there's a new connection coming in for a lot of you all. For you, a lot of you all, it could be in Capricorn season. And I also do feel like a lot of you all feel like, yeah, I fucked up when I moved too quickly into something intimate. Okay? Again, wants passion, fire, you know, action. So moved into things too quickly. But again, I, I still see somebody in you guys' energy. I, I see something new coming into your energy. And also some of you guys could be guarded, especially if this is a newer connection. You could be guarded like, hold on, back them up, Jim Shoe. Uh-uh, I'm not going to play games with you because I don't, I've don't. i been through this in the past and it didn't go anywhere. You know, it led me to lack. So you guys like, nope, I'm not jumping into anything quickly. I want marriage. I want long-term commitment. I'm not here to play games. So I'm getting that message as well, okay? So Virgos, <laughs> I really showed my age. I'm on some back up gym shoe. <laughs> Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe. Click the notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.